So as I said, when I watched the Jimmy Fallon uh, live performance on Kelly, or Kelly Clarkson performing on Jimmy Fallon Lighthouse, I said, so one of the things I like to do is I like to kind of hear live version sometimes first because it gives a kind of more raw version of the song and then go and listen to the studio version. So today we listen to the studio version of Lighthouse, Kelly Clarkson. Um, a lot of tracks on this album, which I'm, I'm really impressed by. You know, I think that... Uh, I, you don't see a lot of albums that are over an hour long, first of all, and you don't see a lot of albums with over, I think there's, what, 20-something 20, 20 songs? There's 22 songs on here. Um, and so, you know, some of them, is a, two of them are a remix at the end. One's a live performance. Okay, so there's 19 originals and uh, two remixes and, and uh, one live performance. But still, you know, that's the deluxe version, actually. Um, you don't see a ton of that anymore. That's like, you know, uh, longer albums are a thing of the past. And I, I think it's cool when artists... You know, like, it's not just about, like, oh, what's the hit single that's going to get all these, you know, straight, like, it's like, let me make a piece of art, and I don't really care, care, you know, I think that's really cool, so, um, I'm looking forward to hearing the studio version and comparing it and just hearing the differences between the studio version and the live performance, um, so, let's get right into this, uh, if you are new here, my name is Jacob Restituto, I appreciate you checking out the channel, and, uh, I got plenty of stuff here on the channel, so let's see what we got, Lighthouse. I need a over how did we end up this way? I'm so confused, lover. Did I mistake love and pain? Ain't got no shine left. I couldn't hide it. I almost lost all my light. And I didn't choose sober, but my eyes can't look away. I didn't choose sober. I see our truth. You know, I. I said this. In, I'm gonna rewind this a little bit, um, but I I did I said this in the um, live performance. Like I I don't love reading into lyrics too much because there's so much interpretation. And honestly, I love hearing what you you, you as the the, the fan uh, think of the song and, and 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 your interpretation because. I think that uh, you know more than I do, <laughs> so you can give a better understanding to the song to me rather than me trying to interpret it. Um, but well, let's talk about production. Production wise, uh, it's cool because it's it's uh, different than the live version in the sense that like you have a little bit more production, you know, like you as I assume you would in the in the studio version. So what that means is we almost have this like synthy kind of like airy pulsing reverb thing going on w along with the keys um, that you don't obviously have in the live version. Um, you know, just comparing a couple songs on this album, uh, I just listened to mine. Um, and very different vocal production here. Here we have this big reverb, and I would even say almost like an echoed reverb. It actually, I think, I want to say it's like a quarter note or half note echo. Um, it could also be the attack on, on or the, the pre-delay on the uh, the reverb, where it, like it, it takes longer to come in, um, which is cool. So given the very, like a bigger landscape, um, you know, sometimes artists use the reverb. Uh, as a way to like you know create like a, a closeness in the song like if they want you to feel like you're right there talking to them then there's not a lot of reverb but if they want it to be like this big sans landscape i'm telling a big story or creating a picture they might use reverb use it on a cool coloring tool um but really interesting production so far very cool oh i accidentally skipped the song let's let's uh fast forward a little here we go what does the sober mean oh, I, I know i know what sober means but like what does this lyric mean i didn't choose sober i did Choose sober, but my eyes can look away. I see our true. I think that synth is a guitar, Lately, actually. We've been looking gray. I can't turn I back now. Cause you take me back down. That road that always seems to come right back around. Remember when we had dreams to fly. It's a cool melody. See, now I wonder if this now here in this studio version is her singing those calm response or if they're also like Jessie, uh, her, her her backup singer and uh, I guess do we call her vocal producer, I think they called. I, I had an interview with Jason Halbert here on the channel. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. It's a, I think it's a cool interview. Um, but he explains, you know, a bunch of different things. And I think he says her, uh, she's the vocal because, you know, Jason Halbert's her musical director. And think, or maybe you know, her, she's her vocal director. Maybe that's the word. But in in the live performance on Jimmy Fallon, she uh, she pref like she sang these calm responses. So I'm curious if that's the same in the studio production, or if it's different. Um, and I'm also curious if her band, her band Y'all, is also the the band that goes in the studio with her, or she hire studio musicians. Crazy. 
crashing into me, crashing into me. And these days are harder than they used to be, and they used to be. I see oh, bad going on up here. Can fix what we are. These are some serious, like, these are some incredibly vulnerable lyrics, man. Like, I, I feel like I'm in this relationship listening to, like, her lyrics, which I'm not, you know. But, like, the man, these are, they are, tr like, really, really uh, vulnerable. Very cool, far back. Chilling my bones when you say to me what you say to me. I thought I found home, but hidden underneath we were. Yo, Apple Music needs to get their act together. What is going on with these like lyrics not following? I apologize. I thought I found home, but hidden underneath we were crumbling. No shooting stars can fix what we are. What good Oh. Oh. I what we were washing over me, questioning everything all Yeah, these are out of whack, I'm sorry. And I keep all the ways that you wanted me to be different, fresh in my mind. What you loved, what you wanted, what you held so high when we first met in hindsight. Were the things that you tried and asked me to change. As if I could do that. Like a way. Alright, let's talk about this actually. Um Cool, cool change and slight differences here compared to uh, the uh, the live performance. Obviously, the live performance was piano, vocals, and, and um, we had actually a cello. Here, we again have some strings, but we also have some kind of cool synthy landscapes. We have some vocals going on, like the oohs and ahs. Um, it's cool. It's a bigger, fuller, uh, I guess you could say even more modern sound in this version. And now we have an arpeggiating synth. Dude, heavy lyrics, heavy lyrics. Uh, like I said, man, I kind of to some degree feel like I, I don't know how you can get more vulnerable to be honest in, in these lyrics. Like they're, they're they're straight up telling you what's going on. It's it's almost hard to listen to it because like man, like this this sucks. <laughs> um, you feel bad. You almost feel bad. Like you feel like you're reading somebody's journal entry, man. Like I don't know, man. I'd love to know your perspective. I'd love to know your thoughts behind the song, what you th what it means to you, what it you think it means to Kelly. Um, thank you for, for all, you know, for, for sharing your thoughts. And uh, I'll see you next video. Let me know uh, what you want to see next. Again, my name is Jacob Restituto. Hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace out.